Uh, we've been studying in the book of Acts today um, about uh, Acts chapter 7 actually where Stephen basically counseled the Sanhedrin and the, the religious people on what they did to Moses and, and this is why they stoned him. Um, if you cut all the way to the end of this chapter, you start in uh, chapter 7 verse 1 and you go, go ahead, just go through the whole entire chapter, come over here to um, verse 41 and they made a calf in those days and offered sacrifice unto the idol and rejoiced in the works of their own hands. They made some mistakes, saints. If you if you read this chapter up to this point, this is so cool. They made a calf in those days. An idol. And they ought, literally sacrificed to this idol. All the stuff they done seen the Lord do and deliver them and they just... What are they thinking? Well check this out. I'm glad you asked. They offered sacrifice to this idol and they rejoiced in the works of their own hands. Does that sound like anybody today? I'm going to go in and I'm going to just will worship. I will worship you, Lord. Will worship. He said, no, you're going to worship me in spirit and in truth. See, there's a difference between will worship and worship in spirit and in truth. So, this is the reason that Stephen was wow stoned because he told him the truth verse 42 then God Yahuwah turned I don't want him to ever turn from me saints I don't know about y'all but he turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven as it is written in the book of the prophets, O ye house of Israel, have you offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of 40 years in the wilderness? What are you thinking? Yea, you took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your god Remphan, figures which you made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. And so we're like, well, that's not for us today. You best be reading it. It's in the book of Acts for a reason. Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness as he had appointed, speaking unto Moses that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus unto the possession of the Gentiles, whom God drave out before the face of our fathers under the days of David. Oh my gosh, just keep reading. Who found favor before God and desired to find a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. But Solomon built him a house. How be it? Here's the gist, saints. How be it the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. Saints, he doesn't dwell in a building that they call a church. He does not dwell in a place that they call a church, in a building. Heaven is my throne, verse 49, and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me? Saints, we can't build a house of the Lord. We are the habitation and the dwelling place of the Lord. What house will you build me, saith the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hand made all these things? You stiff-necked and uncircumcised and hardened ears, you do always resist the Holy Ghost as your fathers did, so do ye. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which showed before the coming of the just one. Just one one the just one is just one of whom you have been now the betrayers and murderers who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it now here you go verse 54 when they heard these things they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth but he being 
of the Holy Ghost. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! I tell you what, saints. The devil cannot stand it when you are filled with the Holy Ghost. The devil hates the Holy Ghost. The devil hates Yahushua, Jesus. The devil hates God. And let me tell you what, saints. He hates you. And he hates me. And the reason that he hates you and I is that we're made in the image of the Most High. And when the Holy Spirit comes and lives in us and through us, it's on, saints. Can you imagine Stephen telling the religious people of that time? He's telling the religious people the truth. If you go and you tell a religious person the truth and you break the scriptures down to them, man, they'll turn on you like a snake. Man, they will turn on you. Oh, you ain't going to be you ain't going to be giving me this stuff. You ain't going to be saying this to me. Well, the, doesn't the scripture say this and the scripture say that? See, we always got one little scripture to pull out of context to make our point. I just read some stuff in context, several scriptures in context. You cannot misunderstand and misinterpret and misinterpret what the word of God is saying if you have the Holy Spirit. Saints, if we've got the Holy Spirit, we're going to have discernment. We're going to know good and evil. We're going to know when it's the truth and when it's a lie. And we're going to be able to rightly divide the word of the Lord to discern if the man or the woman that is speaking is of the Lord. But only if you are separated unto the Lord to start with. If you're not separated and sanctified and filled with the Holy Spirit and living obedience, living obedience, and not just talking about it through will worship on Sunday and on Wednesday, you're going to be able to discern the truth. In Romans chapter 1 verse 28, the Lord will give us over to strong delusion. If you eventually, eventually once you want something bad enough and you think it into existence and you visualize yourself long enough, you'll have what you think. Because so a man thinks, so a man is. Yes, that is biblical. But let me tell you what's not biblical, saints, is when you want something and it's materialism, and it's prosperity, and it's money, 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 money. Oh, the Lord is going to send someone to sow into my ministry so I can, I, 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 I can, I can, I can. Does that sound familiar? Stephen is telling the religious people the truth, and they kill him. Because he's telling them, God has given you up to the worship of the heavens. Not the creator of the heavens, but the heavens. You've created an idol and you're worshiping Moloch in these idolatrous temples. And people are dying and going to hell. And you just want to make more disciples for these synagogues of Satan. Now, yes, there are some godly, true godly men and women that have been confused and, and confounded. And they have gone out the way of the world and established, established, a building and made it a corporation does that mean that they're not sincere no it means that they have been given up to a strong delusion saints we have been brainwashed and indoctrinated 
If you would do your own research, the Lord is telling us in his word, this is the way, walk therein. I will bring my people back to a pure language. Saints, we are not speaking King James language or the NIV language or any other version version of the Bible. We're supposed to be looking at the scriptures, holy scriptures, dividing holy scriptures, rightly dividing the word of God, and you have to be able to back something up with several scriptures, not just one. If it's in the Old Testament, it's in the New Testament because Jesus did not come to destroy and abolish the law. He came to fulfill the law. Every spiritual principle and law is still in force. And if you love the Lord thy God with all your heart and mind and will and strength and, a, and your whole being, and you love your neighbor as yourself, you will hang the law and the prophets on those two. And you will know Jesus through his holy word. And he said in John chapter 8, you will be my disciples. If my word abides in you, you will be my disciples and you will know the truth. And the truth, the truth will set you free. Saints, the truth is not going to make you want to kill someone. The truth is not going to make you angry. The truth is not going to make you hostile towards somebody that's preaching the truth. 